Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I am going to show you guys how to overclock your Raspberry Pi 3 while running Raspbian Jesse. Now this is the latest build from raspberrypi.org. The Raspberry Pi 3 comes with a 64-bit quad-core 1.2 gigahertz. It's the fastest Raspberry Pi that has been built to date, but we want a little more speed like always, so... The overclocking options that come with the Raspberry Pi 3 are non-existent at the moment. At the moment of making this video, there is no official overclock for the Raspberry Pi 3. We're not sure if there will be in the future, but we can't overclock this unit. Very simple, but first I need to warn you that your warranty is void. I am not responsible for breaking your Raspberry Pi for overheating it, for starting a fire, for causing bodily harm, property damage, or anything that comes with overclocking. So, now that I've said that, let's go ahead and get into it. We want to see how fast the CPU is running. Now, you don't have to do this. This is a demonstration for you guys, just to show you that we are at 1.2 gigahertz to start with. So, we're going to go to Accessories terminal and I am going to paste this code it is cat forward slash sys forward slash devices forward slash system forward slash cpu forward slash cpu zero now that's core one forward slash cpu frequency forward slash scaling underscore max underscore frequency now this will show us the max frequency that this unit is producing when it's under a full load and that's 1.2 gigahertz as you can see right here we have 1.2 gigahertz and we want to bring that up the max I've been able to get to is 1.4 gigahertz with my unit so just be warned this will void your warranty I just want to stress that I'm not worried about war voiding the warranty on my unit so we're going to need to take our S we're going to need to shut down the Raspberry Pi, take our SD card out of the unit, place it into an SD card reader on your PC. Now I'm going to move over to my computer now with the SD card inserted. I am back at the PC. I have taken my SD card from the Raspberry Pi, the SD card that I had Raspbian installed on, I've placed it in an SD card reader on my computer. And we need to edit the config config file within that SD card. So one thing before you start is I recommend you download Notepad++. The link will be in the description. This is just a super simple, free, easy to use Notepad text editor for Windows. Sometimes when you open up config files or pretty much any text file within the stock Notepad that comes with Windows, stuff is just jumbled up. This will organize it neatly for you and it's free to use there's no malware there's no spyware or viruses and the links in the description so I'd highly recommend you using this this is what I'm using for the tutorial so if you'd like go ahead and download it it is awesome and free so we need to find that SD card that we have on the computer we want to go here and browse for the SD card mine is named boot and it's in drive E I'm gonna open it up I'm gonna snap it over here for you now you want to scroll down and find config text document. I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit with Notepad++. We'll snap this one more time for you. Now I recommend going and making a backup of this. So let's go ahead and save as config copy. Now I already have a config copy on my desktop so I named it config copy one just gonna save it to the desktop so I have an extra one here in case anything goes wrong you can just place this right back onto the SD card overwrite the config file that's on there and you'll be set back to stock so in the description below there's a link to a Dropbox text file that I created you can open this up with the stock notepad that comes with Windows just gonna double click on it snap it on this side for you and as you can see here I've already set up a few overclocks for you we have a 1.45, a 1.4, 1.35, and a 1.3. I also have the command here to check your max frequency when you're in Raspberry Pi, when you're in Raspbian. 
So mine will only do 1.4. What we want to do is come over here and scroll down to line 43. We want to delete line 43, just 43 here. I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to copy my 1.4 gigahertz overclock. Just going to right click, copy, come back to line 43. I'm going to paste and I'm going to save that file. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here, exit out of here. Now we're going to go back to the Raspberry Pi. We're going to check and make sure that we are overclocked to 1.4 gigahertz. Um, like I said, don't do this if you're scared of breaking your Raspberry Pi or setting fire to your house or causing bodily injury to yourself. I recommend using heat sinks if you do do this. And all the links for everything that I've been using here from Notepad++ to the text document that I created for your overclock is in the description below. You can download it. We're going to the Raspberry Pi now. I'm now back at the Raspberry Pi 3 on the desktop of Raspy and Jesse. Now, if everything went right, you should boot. If it doesn't boot, you always have that copy that you created. Remember that copy? Okay, good. Or you can try a lower overclock. I've seen some people running 1.5, but mine will only hit 1.4. It won't crash at 1.4. We want to make sure that we are overclocked to 1.4 gigahertz right now. So what I'm going to do is go right up to Menu, Accessories, Terminal, and I'm going to type in a simple, well, not so simple, command that will tell us the maximum frequency that this CPU can run. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It is cat space forward slash SYS forward slash devices forward slash system forward slash CPU forward slash CPU zero. CPU zero is core one forward slash CPU FREQ for CPU frequency forward slash scaling underscore max underscore f r e q and we have a 1.4 gigahertz overclock now you guys can try to go a little higher if you'd like but mine the unit itself will not allow it to go any higher than this it just crashes i've tried cooling i've tried everything um not all raspberry pis are created equal so Hopefully you got one that can go a little higher. Like I said, I've seen some 1.5 gigahertz overclock. If you run into any problems, you made that copy of that config file that you can just put right back on the SD card, overwrite the config file that you edited, and you're back at stock speeds. This will void your warranty, and um, you've been warned. I appreciate you guys watching. If this helped you out at all, if you could help me out, hit that like button and subscribe. That would be awesome. And uh, if you guys need any help with anything, leave a comment or send me a private message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I really appreciate you guys watching.